Hello everyone and welcome to this week's favorite plugin Friday where I would like to show you how I use the Plugin Alliance Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor plugin. Let's get right into it. So the beast you see here is a plugin emulation of the Shadow Hills Mastering Compressor. And at first it was a bit intimidating to me, but once you get to know it, it's all right. This compressor is basically a two-stage compressor and a transformer-based coloring section. Um, in the coloring section you can choose between uh, nickel, iron and steel, which represent different types of transformers. And um, the first compressor is an optical compressor, very much in the style of an LA-2A. Uh, the second stage is a a discrete uh, compressor, the VCA compressor, like uh, you can find in the SSL consoles or uh, the DBX compressors. I typically use the Shadow Hills on the Master Bus, uh, but for this video I thought it would be interesting to explore if it makes sense to use it on vocals and bass guitar. Very much in a way uh, engineers like to use an LA-2A and an 1176 compressor uh, in series. So first let's hear it on the master bus. Here I have a final mix of a released track by Dylan John. It's called Nature's Way. And uh, this is it without anything on the master bus. If I stand, if I go Venture into the unknown where nothing is planned Life on demand And if I'm mad I will soar into the wild Go out, explore with my feet in the sand So and now with the Shadow Hills mastering compressor engaged uh, in default setting If I stand, if I go Venture into the unknown where nothing is planned Life on demand And if I'm mad I will soar into the wild Go out, explore with my feet in the sand Life on demand You already hear it balancing out a little bit Although none of the compressors is doing anything um, the coloring section is already engaged, so what I would like to do is uh, turn off both of the compressor circuits and uh, see what the coloring section is doing. If I stand, if I go, this is Nick. Into the unknown where nothing is planned, life on demand. Iron, if I met. Life on demand. If I stand, and if I go, steel. venture into the unknown where nothing is planned. Iron. Life on demand. And if I'm mad, I will soar into the wild, go out, explore with my feet in the sand. Life on demand. If I stand, if I go, venture into the unknown where nothing is planned, life on demand. And if I'm mad, I will soar into the wild, go out, So I like to listen for the high end, the mids, and the low end if I'm comparing these kind of settings. And um, the nickel. Uh, seems to have the most saturation so uh, it evens out frequencies a bit and um, it has a nice presence in the high end uh, the steel seems to be a m bit more mid forward um, and also the low end shifts a bit let's do another pass and uh, specifically look at the low end if I stand, if I go, venture into the unknown where nothing is planned, life on demand. And if I'm mad, I will soar into the wild, go out, explore with my 
my feet in the sand The life on demand If I stand, if I go Venture into the unknown Where nothing is planned Life on demand So to me it looks like the steel has the most bottom end. For this track I'm looking for steel or nickel. I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to do another pass. If I stand, if I go, venture into the unknown where nothing is planned. Life on demand. And if I'm mad, I will soar into the wild. Go I think the steel is uh, the nicest way of evening out and uh, the big bottom end it gives. I like it. So uh, I'm going to keep it on steel for this track. And uh, let's see uh, what happens if we engage the optical compression. If I stand, if I go, venture into the unknown where nothing is planned. Life on demand. And if I'm mad. So this meter works on the optical compression. Here you can uh, choose the metering. So uh, the left side is set on optical and the right side is set on discrete. So if we continue to discrete, you can see the, the amount of reduction here. If I stand, if I go, venture into the unknown where nothing is planned. Life on demand And if I'm mad I will soar into the wild go On the master bus I like to keep things subtle Staying within the one half 1dB realm And um, perhaps uh, adjusting the gain accordingly If I stand, if I go Venture into the unknown Where nothing is planned Life on demand And if I'm mad I will soar into the wild Go out, explore with my feet in the sand Life on demand So it's nice and warm, slow compression What you would typically find in an optical compressor um, So now let's see how the uh, discrete VCA compressor works. If I stand, if I go, venture into the unknown where nothing is planned. Life on demand. And if I'm mad, I will soar into the wild. Go when I dial in compression, I first like to uh, exaggerate, and then when I found the settings I like, I'll go back to more decent levels of db reduction if i stand if i go venture into the unknown where nothing is planned life on demand and if i'm mad i will soar into the wild go out explore with my feet in the sand life on demand if i stand And I like to see the music in the metering, so I want to have the compressor bounce uh, in the way the music goes. That gives uh, the most musical compression. And now, uh, before and after. If I stand, if I go, venture into the unknown where nothing is planned, life on demand. And if I'm mad, I will soar into the wild Go out, explore with my feet in the sand Life on demand And you can hear it even out a bit more you, It brings in uh, a certain character And uh, it makes it a bit more exciting Because of the movement in the dynamics That's typically how I like to use master bus compression Very subtle but um, to bring in a bit excitement and uh, to bring the things together and to color. Um, so that's the way I like to use it on the master bus. 
So here we have the bass guitar. And first, without the compression, without the unit. <laughs> So now the way this is set up, uh, all the compressors are off and uh, I'm going to engage the plugin and listen to what the coloring section is doing with the transformers. So first off, and now on with the nickel engaged. I really like the steel on this one. It gives a big bottom end and a nice high end. Already like you would EQ a bass guitar. That's what this uh, transformer is already doing for me. Now uh, let's engage the optical compression. Makes it nice and fat. Uh, and now we're going to dial in the discrete compression. I don't want to kill everything. I want to keep the transient, but just color and shape the sound in a musical way. So um, that's why I like the higher attack settings. You hear when I lower the attack settings, the uh, compression gets way more aggressive and pumping. And uh, that's what I personally like to avoid. <laughs> It's a nice sound, usable, very usable. So, and now um, here I have a vocal track we've heard before from the band Superstation. This particular song is called The Blues. So first, without processing. I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes. Walk a mile in those shoes. I'm singing the blues, talk to me baby cause I ain't about to lose, walk a mile in those shoes, I'm singing the blues, I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes, walk a mile in those shoes. Again, my favorite is the steel setting for this, just the way it shapes the, the, the EQ and the yeah, saturation figures. I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes. Walk a mile in those shoes, 
I'm singing the blues. Talk to me, baby, cause I like saturation on vocals, but I don't want to uh, get it all out of one unit. So uh, this is this is nice. Just enough. Just enough. Let's see what happens if we dial in the optical compressor. I've been dazed and confused. Need my sensible shoes. Walk a mile in those shoes. I'm singing the blues. Talk to me, baby, cause I ain't about to lose. Walk a mile in those shoes. I'm singing the blues. I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes. Walk a mile in those shoes. I'm singing the blues. Talk to me, baby, cause I ain't about to lose. Walk a mile in those shoes. I'm singing the blues. I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes. Walk a mile in those shoes. I'm singing the blues. Talk to me, baby, cause I ain't a. It's nice, it's neutral. Uh, it doesn't remind me of uh, what an LA2A would do. Uh, and that's probably because I'm missing the, the other components. I think the compression basically the same but the coloration of an LA2 unit is, is very different um, and that can be a good thing if you want a more neutral way of compressing a source and you don't want the coloration such an optical compressor is uh, bringing to the table it can be interesting and we can also make other choices in the in the transformer section perhaps if i uh, do the coloration of the nickel it gets closer to what i'm used to hearing uh, from an la2a i've been dazed and confused need my sensible shoes walk a mile in those shoes it helps it helps yeah so let's see what happens if we engage the discrete section I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes. Walk a mile in those shoes. That ni that's nice. It, it definitely adds some mid highs uh, just by engaging the, the circuit. I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes. Walk a mile in those shoes. I'm singing the blues, talk to me baby cause I ain't about to lose, walk a mile in those shoes, I'm singing the blues, I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes, walk a mile in those shoes, I'm singing the blues, talk to me baby cause I ain't about to lose, walk a mile in those shoes, I'm singing the blues, I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes, walk a mile in those shoes, I'm singing the blues, talk to me baby cause I ain't about to lose, walk a mile in those shoes, I'm singing the blues, I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes, I've been dazed and confused, need my sensible shoes, Walk a mile in those shoes, I'm singing the blues, talk to me baby cause I ain't about to lose. Well it's a good start, it's nice. I don't know if it's a direct replacement for the LA2A and 1176 trick, but I would like to add another stage of compression when using this in a production, but that's something for another video. Well, that was it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got something out of it. 
And uh, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, like and comment on the videos. And I uh, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye.